The streets of London are not where you would expect to find protests for a breakaway region of Nigeria. But demonstrators came here in support of their leader. The voice of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a separatist movement that wants to break away from Nigeria, is this man, Namdi Kanu, a Nigerian British citizen who has been on the run since 2015. Kanu was arrested in June and extradited from Kenya back to Nigeria. It is part of a crackdown on growing calls for independence. Analysts say Kanu is just filling a vacuum left by multiple failures of government. The increasing popularity of these calls is a direct consequence of the failures of the Nigerian state, or more broadly speaking, even of the Nigerian project. The last time there were calls for independence in Nigeria, an estimated one to three million people died during the Biafran Civil War in 1967. But these calls are also being driven from outside Nigeria. This quiet London street is not exactly where you would expect to find the hub of a global network of pirate radio stations broadcasting their separatist agenda back into Nigeria. At the registered address, we meet Darlington Imo, Radio Biafra, a Kanu ally and Biafra sympathizer. Even with Kanu off the airwaves, his disciples remain committed to the cause. Do you think that Namdi's arrest, Mr. Kanu's arrest, means the end of the Biafra movement? Uh, def definitely, definitely not. If you, if you uh, uh, kill one general, another general uh, takes his place. Def definitely not. Yes. Definitely not. We want the referendum. We are not what asking for. We are asking for a referendum, which is a, a, a civilized thing to ask for. Analysts say that is a pipe dream. Well, I think, first of all, uh, the Nigerian government will be afraid to allow a referendum to happen. And the fact that it will be afraid to allow a referendum to happen shows just how deep the problem is. But the cracks may be beginning to show. President Mohamed Buhari tweeting in June about how the Nigerian government will deal with separatists. Twitter removed this post, deeming it offensive. And days later, Buhari banned the platform entirely from Nigeria. While Kanu remains in custody, that hasn't deterred protests in southeastern Nigeria, where IPOB had ordered a shutdown of work and economic activities every Monday, although that was recently suspended. What seems clear is that the nation could be at an impasse. Worst case scenario, of course, is that before 2023, the country essentially de facto disintegrates, uh, perhaps not into a full-blown civil war, but into a lot of skirmishes, into a lot of violence. An already fractured nation can ill afford another conflict. So Linda, uh, there you have it. Those are the issues of the separatism facing the country right now. And of course, uh, Namdi Kanu is a British citizen and this is an issue that the British government is watching closely. They issued a statement after his arrest saying that uh, they are seeking clarification from the Nigerian government about the circumstances of his arrest and detention uh, and but the Nigerian government is resolute telling CNN in a statement that uh, Nigeria is, is indissoluble and indivisible and they say that they will continue with their methods of detection and prevention of crimes against the internal security of the country Linda uh, so it's definitely the big question really is is can uh, the Nigerian government keep the country united by cracking down on this separatist group? Well, analysts have, t have been telling me that this is a tough issue for any leader to deal with, and not least in a country that's four times the size of the UK with a population of over 200 million people. Uh, Nigerians always been divided, but seemingly so in recent years and it's a country with very strong ethnic identities and and those ethnic identities are coming to fore more strongly than the the national identity so analysts are saying it's a, it's the, the leaders are caught between a rock and a hard place they can't afford to ignore calls for separatism uh, for separatism to break away from the country they must do something but the crackdowns are really creating more support for this movement, ironically, Linda. Mm.